All right, Illini fans, Illinois beats Kansas in the exhibition game. And no, it does not mean that Illinois is the best team in college basketball because they won this game. It is a meaningless game, but we can get a glimpse into what Illinois is trying to do as a team. So let's look at it. Shannon Jr. was the MVP of the game for the Illini. He was the only one willing to score points in the second half. And we can't have that. We can't leave it up to one player to carry us home to a win. We need other players to step up. they got to be scoring threats. And if that doesn't happen, we're not going to go where we want to go. You need more than one player. So good game by Terrence Shannon Jr., MVP. Then Coleman Hawkins, in 29 minutes, he gets five rebounds. Two assists, two turnovers, a block, two steals, 14 points. We need more from him. Coleman, we have to have more from him. He's a 15-year senior, and we need him to do more than this. More rebounding. More scoring. We have to have it. He goes to the free throw line two times. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Thank goodness Terrence went there 10 times and and Quincy went there 10 times. They're aggressive. Coleman is a pacifist. He's too passive. Can't be that way. Um, Quincy comes in, goes to free throw line 10 times. You love it. That's being aggressive. And he gets nine rebounds, 13 points in 26 minutes. So I guess some things never change. Coleman's not the leading rebounder. And that's a problem. It really is. But good for Quincy to get nine rebounds. Um, Marcus, 4-9 from the floor. 11 points, 5 rebounds. So that's 30 minutes of play. So Ty Rogers, in 24 minutes, gets 7 points, 3 turnovers, 3 assists, 3 rebounds. And it's, he's not our point guard. He can't play point guard. We talked about this before. They tried to get a point guard. They couldn't get that player. And so they lie to themselves and say that Ty Rogers is their point guard. Well, yeah, that's not going to work out so well. So, um, But other than that, uh, he's got to play better. Uh, Justin Harmon, 23 minutes. Six points, six rebounds. Um, You might as well score a little bit more. Uh, Sincere. Seven minutes played. He's not going to play much with uh, Justin and Quincy and Marcus on the team. So don't expect much from him this year. Luke Goody. I didn't like what I seen. Um, unless he's just standing at the three-point line wide open, it doesn't look like he'll be a threat to do anything. So, he's not looking good. And if he continues to look this worthless, he needs to transfer. Um, shockingly, Gibbs Lawhorn did not play but three minutes. This is an exhibition game. But it was obvious that Bruce, uh, I want to say Bruce Weber, that Brad Underwood wanted to win this game desperately. In my opinion, you got to play these young guys. Let's see what they can do. Only three minutes of play. I don't like that, especially as an exhibition game. Um, Niccolo, two minutes. Amani, two minutes. This is an exhibition game. It's meaningless. You have to see what these young players can do. What an opportunity it could have been to let them play. But I don't care what Underwood says. The numbers say it. He was going for the win. So congratulations. You won an exhibition game. Wonderful. All right. um, Now let's start with the negatives first. And that would be, once again, 
more turnovers than assists. Does that sound familiar? That's just like last year. 14 turnovers, 8 assists. We can't keep doing this. We can't continue to have more turnovers than assists. That is just incompetence at the highest level. Unacceptable. All right. Then we go to the free throw shooting. 21 of 32. Not good enough. You got to do better. You got to make those. In particular, if Dane is going to get fouled, he's got to make his free throws. If Ty Rogers is getting fouled, he's going to have to make his free throws. Terrence Shannon Jr., he's going to have to shoot better from the free throw line. You just got to do better than that. It's not as horrible as it was last year in this exhibition game. But yet, if you're talking about going into the tournament and winning, you have to shoot better than this. Three-point shooting. This was a positive. Instead of shooting 42 threes, they shot 27. They made 11. That's progress. I can respect that. Coleman, four for nine from three. I would like to see Coleman go to the rim. He went to the rim a couple times. Then he said, forget that. I'm going to hang out at the three-point line. It's much easier. He's very passive, and he takes nine threes. I don't want to see that. And um, But 27 threes overall, that's, that's okay. More free throws than threes. That's what I like. That is what I like. I was calling for that. And that's what I want to see for the rest of the season. If we can somehow have more assists and turnovers. If Coleman somehow can average 10 plus rebounds a game. If somehow, some way, we can shoot more free throws than three-point shots. Then we have a chance to do something. But what that will be will be determined by Coleman Hawkins and the rest of these players. We know Shannon Jr. We know he's willing and able. These other guys, yeah, not so much. All right, so um, for Illinois in the uh, overall 40% from three, 65% from the free throw line, that's unacceptable. Um. And, of course, you couldn't foul out, but Coleman did have five fouls, but you couldn't foul out, though. So, all right, other than that, anytime you play a game, you want to win it, even if it's an exhibition game. So, this, this does not mean that we're number one in the country. This does not mean if we play Kansas in the tournament, we'll win. It's an exhibition game, but it's good to win. So if we can have more assist and turnovers, shoot more free throws and then threes. But if we can make those free throws, shoot a good three-point percentage. And if someone can step up to help Shannon, we got a chance. Because as we already know, there's no such thing as a great team in college basketball. Those days are gone. There will never be another great team in college basketball because of the turnaround, because of the ability to transfer. So those days are over. Illinois, if they do everything I just said, they can beat anybody in the country on any given night. If they do everything I just said, if they do that, they could. So it is what it is. Illinois wins. And let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments.